Hello everyone, Max Sports again to bring you my top 15 niche fragrances for spring of 2015, guys. Um, as you see by now, you've watched the designer edition, and this is the niche edition. So, without further ado, guys, let's dig right into this. Uh, this is a floral fruity, awesome for the springtime, from one of my favorite creative houses. This is from the house of L'Artisan Perfumé at number 15, and it's called Premier Figuier. Guys, this is an amazing fragrance. Um, you know, fig, fra fig based fragrances will give you that coconut kind of vibe, uh, and this is no exception. With this fragrance, you're going to get up, up top, you know, the, the fig leaves, but not only the fig, leaf, fig leaves, but you're going to get some actual figs in the heart of this with some almonds, and the, the dry down, you're going to get some uh, dried fruits with coconut. Um, lime and sandalwood. It's very refreshing, it's very nice, beautiful for the uh, warmer days, uh, not extremely scalding days like summer days, but really nice for those uh, cool, warmer spring days. I really, really enjoy this at number 15, Premier Figuier, the first fig-based fragrance ever released. And this is the old-fashioned cap. Beautiful juice, guys. Check it out if you can. And number 14, guys, this is from the house of Joe Malone. I don't particularly like Joe Malone that much uh, because it's actually not very long lasting on my skin. But this one particularly, it's an oriental floral. It's one of the, the few floral, floral fragrances that I like. And this is called Blue Agava and Cacao. Guys, Blue Agava and Cacao from the house of Joe Malone is a very, very nice fragrance. Let me see if you can get this on focus. There you go. Blue Agava and Cacao. This is beautiful. This is only a 30 mil. I don't need that much because I only wear this in springtime. But I really enjoy it at number 14. This is again an oriental floral. You get some, um, basically what you get with this up top, you get some red berries. Um, you get a little bit of uh, an, a lime and you have some um, grapefruit as well. In the heart you're going to get the flowers. You're going to get some uh, geranium, orchid, and then at the base it's a beautiful cacao, vetiver musk, cinnamon, vanilla base. Beautiful fragrance guys. Love it in the cooler spring days. Beautiful fragrance. Joe Malone. Aga blue agava and cacao. Okay, at number 13, guys, this is a house that makes the best freshies out there. Can't go wrong with this coming up fragrance. Number 13 is from the house of Creed. Of course, I am talking about one of the best fragrances for the springtime. This is a woody spicy, and I'm talking about this beautiful fragrance called Original Vetive, guys. This is awesome for work. It's great for just casual hanging out. Beautiful fragrance, guys. Or original Vetive. What you get with this, you get some uh, bergamot, ginger, some uh, mandarin oranges, iris, a little bit of vetiver, obviously, sandalwood, ambergris, and musk, the signature ambergris from, from Creed. Beautiful fragrance. It's not uh, upfront central uh, vetiver that's going to be uh, loud or, or very earthy or um, dark. This is a beautiful vetiver, actually very tame vetiver at that. Beautiful coming up at number 13, original vetiver by the House of Creed. Coming up at number 12, guys, is one from the house of L'Artisan. This is going to be the last one from the L'Artisan at my top 15, but it's definitely one of my favorites from the house. This is called Timbuktu, guys. Timbuktu, beautiful fragrance from the house of L'Artisan Perfumé. Beautiful for the spring. Love to wear this. Uh, dressed up. Uh, very nice fragrance, guys. This is a woody Chipra. What you get with this, you get some mangoes up top, some pink pepper, you get papyrus incense, and you get patchouli vetiver and um, benzoin. But it's beautiful blended, very nice composition by Bertrand du Chiffon. I absolutely love this in springtime. I can wear this dress up or dress down. Timbuktu at number 12. Number 11 is another one that I can wear dress up or dress down. It's also an oriental fougere, but you know what? What a gorgeous fragrance from the house of Bond number 9. This is one of my favorites from, from the House of Bond number 9. It's got a beautiful note of uh, cognac up top with some spices. Then it gets this lavender, musk, cashmere vetiver. Beautiful composition. Reminds me of an old favorite. This is Copper Square. Uh, this coming up at number 11 reminds me of an old favorite, which was uh, Calvin by Calvin Klein, which was uh, one of my favorite fragrances that I wore in high school. This is beautiful, guys. If you haven't checked it out, stop by a Bond store and try to get a sample of this. This is fantastic for the spring. Dress up or dress down, casual or formal. Beautiful fragrance. Great compliment getter. I get tons of compliments when I wear Copper Square. So these are 15 through 11. Stay tuned for the next five. Be right back. 
All right, Frank, I'm carrying on here at number 10 for the top 15 countdown of my favorite spring fragrances, niche edition. We're going to go with the Collection Extraordinaire from the private blend of Van Cleef and Arpels. This is definitely my favorite offering from this, from this brand, aside from Midnight in Paris. This is called Bois de Ries, guys. Bois de Ries at number 10. Now, Bois de Ries is very nice. It's almost time for a new bottle. You know, I switch in, back and forth between this and um, Bois d'Argent from Christian Dior, but I think this one is a little bit better on my skin. There's something in the uh, Dior's offering that, you know, after times it just it doesn't really work with my skin. But Bois de Ries, it's just much nicer for my skin. Um, the iris, the incense, the vanilla, uh, the amber, this is just so nicely done and it lasts pretty well on my skin. I gotta, I gotta grant that um, I probably wear uh, Bois d'Argent more in the fall because it has more power and stronger lasting on my skin, but this is perfect for me in the springtime. So coming up at number 10, Bois de Ries from Van Cleef & Arpels, Collection Extraordinaire. This is their private blend collection. And number 9 guys, number 9 is one that I really adore from one of my favorite, favorite houses. This is from the house of Tom Ford, Private Blend. This is uh, definitely a fragrance that I love to wear dressing up for those spring days or going out and you could definitely smell fantastic and this is from the Private Blend collection. It's called Italian Cypress, guys, coming up at number nine. Now, Italian Cypress is just an amazing, amazing composition. I don't know if this is still in production, but I gotta tell you guys, this is unbelievably good. Um, you get mint, you get citruses, uh, precious woods, uh, and, and obviously Italian cypress. It's just a beautiful blend. It smells fantastic. I get a ton of compliments when I'm dressed up and I'm wearing this. So this is definitely one of my favorites for the springtime dressing up. So Italian cypress from Tom Ford's private blend collection at number nine. Continuing here at the countdown at number eight. This is by the house of Bond number nine also. Now, I tend to wear this most on the fall, uh, you know, in, in fall, cooler days, but some cooler nights in the springtime, I do enjoy this a lot, and this is a compliment getter. To me, it's one of the best offerings from Bond number nine. This is discontinued, and of course, I'm talking about this amazing, woody, aromatic Andy Warhol, the face bottle edition. Guys, this is fantastic, coming up at number eight. I love this fragrance has a beautiful plum note with some vanilla, the oud, which is not front and center, some rose, uh, sandalwood, musk, and vanilla dry down. Beautiful fragrance, guys. Probably one of the best plum uh, fragrances out there, very compared to Tom Ford's Private Blend Plum Japanese, but I do like this better. It lasts longer in my skin and projects much, much stronger. So this was number eight. And number seven, guys. Number seven is another one from the house of Tom Ford Private Blend Collection. This is a beautiful fragrance. This is awesome for the springtime. It's good for the summer too. It's a citrus aromatic fragrance. It has a couple notes, but it's so well blended. And it smells fantastic, guys. Uh, this is called Tom Ford's Nerolo Portofino. Guys, this is beautiful. This is like spring, summer in the bottle. It smells fantastic. This is number seven in the countdown. This has mandarin oranges, bergamot, neroli, and amber. Just beautiful, guys, and it smells fantastic. It's pretty good on my skin. I get six plus hours. When it's warmer out, I adore this fragrance in the springtime. So neroli portofino from the Tom Ford Private Blend coming up at number seven. And number six, again, from the House of Creed. They do the best when it comes to freshies that smell good, uh, that project pretty good. And for compliments, you cannot go wrong with this one. This is, this is a staple in anyone's collection who loves fragrances. This was released in 1985. By now you know what I'm talking about. This is none other than Creed Green Irish Tweed coming up at number six, guys. Green Irish Tweed is a fantastic offering from the House of Creed. Great for spring. You can really wear this all year round. It's very safe. But I really love this in springtime coming up at number six. Uh, this has this herbaceous kind of feel with the lemon verbena up top, the iris, has some violets, some ambergris, and sandalwood. Just smells fantastic. It's compared to uh, many by other offerings out there. There's a lot of co companies that try to copy this scent, but no one can do like Creed. This is beautiful. This is Green Irish Street at number six. Guys, stay tuned for the next five. I'll be right back 
And the next five are my top five for spring niche edition 2015. I'll be right back. All right, guys, this is uh, the heavy hitters, the top five for the spring of 2015, spring scents niche edition, guys. These are the ones that I'm going to be wearing the most in this uh, 2015 spring. Today is actually the first day of spring that I'm filming this. This is uh, March 20th, 2015, and unfortunately, we're getting snow here uh, where I live in New England, but um, it's going to get warm soon, so... You guys have seen the uh, designer edition, so let me carry on here. Top five heavy hitters for spring 2015, guys. Coming up at number five, this one is Stranger to None. This is one of my favorites from the house of Umwash. Love this spring. Love this in uh, spring and fall. And of course, I'm talking about this woody floral musk. Phenomenal fragrance called Reflection Man, guys. This is the old bottle with the um, non-magnetic cap. Beautiful fragrance, guys. Phenomenal projection, great longevity. I get 10 plus hours out of this. Beautiful compliment getter. A lot of people compare this to Jean-Paul Gaultier, but this is like much better, guys. This has a beautiful floral. This is like a more mature edition of Jean-Paul Gaultier. Has rose, beautiful pimento note up top with some jasmine, some neroli, some orris root, a little patchouli, vetiver, cedar, and sandalwood at the dry down. Phenomenal fragrance, guys. Compliment getter like no other. This is Reflection Man at number five. And number four, guys, is one that I truly adore. It's one of uh, best offerings of the House of Creed. And this has um, been around for almost five years now, and you probably know what I'm talking about. This is the most talked fragrance in the fragrance community, guys. This is Creed Aventus at number four, guys. Creed Aventus, I love this in spring and fall. Uh, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal juice. This is the KO1 batch. Great, great fragrance. Fruity. Uh, a little f more f fruitier than smoke here in this one, but no matter what batch you get, you're going to get the pineapple, the black currant, the apple, the rose, the uh, birch wood, vanilla, ambergris, musk, dry down. Great fragrance, awesome for springtime. You can wear it dress up, dress down, casual, formal. This is versatile. This is like, you know, amazing juice. And number four for my 2015 top 15 spring scents, niche edition. At number three, guys. Number three is another one from the House of Amouage. Um, this is probably my favorite. If not my favorite, it's on my top three favorite offerings. Definitely my top five of the House of Amouage. This is a beautiful Oriental Fouget. This is probably this one and Reflection are probably the only ones that I pull off in spring and summer. This is called Jubilation 25. Again, this is the old edition with the um, ivory cap non-metallic I mean I'm sorry not non-magnetic and this is an amazing amazing fragrance guys um, but even the newer edition I have those brand new and they're phenomenal so I wore both and I think you can get probably a little more projection a little more push with this but even with the other magnetic cap you're getting 10 plus hours so I mean in the scent itself I didn't notice any major differences uh, this has oud it has um, a beautiful note of orange up top with um, some coriander, and then you get uh, some blackberries with some cloves, honey, orchid, rose, guayac wood, and then the dry down is just unbelievable. I love the um, the immort immortel here, the flower, the immortel with the oud and the musk and the ambergris. It's just a little bit of patchouli too. It has a lot of notes, but it's just a phenomenal. This is like a regal fragrance. Awesome to wear in the springtime. The cooler nights, dressing up, going to formal events. This is an amazing, amazing fragrance. This is my number three for spring of 2015. And number two, guys, is my favorite from the house. Definitely my top three favorites from the house of Zhirzhov. Uh, this is called Kobe or Kobe. Love this fragrance. This is like two fragrances into one. It starts very citrus and fresh, and it gets down to this creamy, opulent kind of scent. You have orange, bergamot, you have neroli, uh, then you have Brazilian rosewood, tonka beans, oud, um, ambergris, and musk. So it starts very it starts very fresh and beautiful and, and live, and then it gets into this balsamic, sweet, creamy kind of vibe. What an amazing fragrance, guys. I love this in the springtime. This is my number two top fragrance from uh, Niche Spring 2015. Number one, guys, 
This is going to be the one I'm going to be rocking the most this spring. This is from, again, Creed. I think Creed does Freshies best. There's no one like Creed when it comes to Freshies, guys. Um, this is an amazing, amazing scent from the Les Royales collection. This is a citrus aromatic, and of course I'm talking about none other than Pure White Cologne, formerly known as Original Cologne. This is beautiful, guys. This is amazing, amazing fragrance. This is like made to measure guys beautiful notes of lemon amalfi lemon bergamot up top some roly pear ambergris uh, rice just beautiful guys this is done to perfection it's beautiful you're gonna smell fantastic you get compliments like crazy to me this is like if you like bergamot 22 and you like um, Versace for men all fresh this is like a mixture between the two and then some this is great guys I get eight plus hours um, if you spray in your clothes, you're going to get 10 plus. It's just beautiful fragrance. You can wear it when it's not too hot out. And even the hotter days, you're still going to get pretty good performance out of this. I love this fragrance. This is my number one for my top 15 niche fragrances of 2015, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm going to put my top five right here for you. Number five is Reflection. Number four is Aventus. Number three is Homage Jubilation 25. Number two is Kobe or Kobe. And number one is obviously Pure White Cologne, formerly known as Original Cologne. So these are my top five uh, heavy hitters for the spring of 2015. Thanks for watching, guys. Please drop your comments down below. Let me know if any of these uh, fragrances that I mentioned here are part of your arsenal for the spring of 2015. Let me know what your top five or top ten uh, spring scents are for this year. What do you plan on checking out? Let me know which ones you like. Let me know if you like any of these that I mentioned. Uh, any comment is welcome. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll have more for you soon. Talk to you later.